Soft tougher in the back for more. So soon, jeez, you couldn't wait, could you? But in this uh, this uh, video today, we're gonna discuss compact bone. <sighs> All right, yeah, quiet down, quiet down, quiet down, class. So compact bone. Uh, let's start first. Start by saying the outside of the bone is periosteum, which is a thin layer of adipose tissue. So around this uh, long bone, for instance. There's uh, the outermost layer is periosteum, periosteum which you uh, should have researched a little more on your own time as we discussed a few videos ago. But periosteum, just a reminder, it's a thin layer of adipose tissue and it's also uh, a dense connective tissue that surrounds most of the bone organ. So bone is an organ, periosteum surrounds the bone, and then there's the compact bone, which is... Uh, Actually, we'll get into the analogy in a second, but the compact bone is stronger and more support. And then inside the compact bone is the spongy bone. So spongy bone, it's not as strong, not as heavy, and it does need that compact bone to support it. So you could think of a compact bone to spongy bone. So there's the periosteum. The compact bone is comparable to, say, uh, the chocolate casing on a chocolate-covered strawberry, chocolate-covered cherry. That spongy bone, that softer, lighter inside would be the actual cherry or the actual strawberry there. So it goes periosteum, compact bone, and then on the inside there is gonna be the spongy bone. So compact bone tissue, uh, let's first discuss the osteon. So the osteon is, uh, if you've looked, ever seen a bone or a microscopic image of a bone, there's those circular structures, kinda looks like the growth rings of a tree. If you look at the uh, cross section of it, just look at the tree, all the all the little structures there. That's what an osteon looks like. And it's the uh, structural unit of compact bones. So uh, in the center of these osteons is a central canal. So in the center of these uh, structural units of compact bone is a central canal. The central canal is called a haversian canal. So haversian canal or central canal, it's uh, embedded or lined with osteoblasts. So it's lined with the, these osteoblasts in the bone. Compact bone actually grows inside out. So uh, there's older bone or older cells on the outside where the newest cells of compact bone are in the inside there. So if you could think of it like a, uh, think of it like a core of an apple, how it grows outward, starts with the core, grows outward. That's how compact bone works. So the newer cells on the inside, older cells on the outside, and this central canal, this hollow canal in the center of the uh, so center of the osteon is the Haversian canal. Then we also have the concentric lamella, which are circular layers of bone matrix that uh, that line the central canal. So lining the central canal are circular layers of bone matrix that are actually embedded or lined with osteocytes. So the Haversian canal embedded with osteoblast, the concentric lamellae, lamella, L-A-M-E-L-L-A-E, -L -L -E, depending on if it's plural or singular. I honestly forget which one's switch. It's like cacti, cactus, that sort of thing. But a concentric lamella, lamellae, uh, they're embedded with the osteocytes. And then, furthermore, interstitial lamella, lamellae, is the bone matrix between each of these osteons. So there's, a, say, an osteon, an osteon, an osteon, an osteon in the bone. This little space between each osteon is the interstitial lamella. And then last but certainly not least, uh, we need to discuss the Volkman or perforating canal. So Volkman perforating canal means the same exact thing. It's uh, So the blood vessels of the periosteum connect with the blood vessels of a central canal. Also, the blood vessels of a central canal connect with the blood vessels of another central canal. So another her blood vessels of a her Haversian canal connect with the blood vessels of another Haversian canal. And then last but certainly not least, blood vessels of this uh, of, an, of a central canal can connect with the blood vessels of bone marrow or spongy bone. And uh, in this red bone marrow is where we produce formed elements. So once the formed elements are produced, it actually reverses the process back out of the bone. So the periosteum is obviously the outside. The blood vessels of periosteum connect with the blood vessels of a central canal. Blood vessels of central canal connect with the blood vessels of another central canal. And these blood vessels of a central canal connect with the blood vessels of the spongy bone and bone marrow. So 
that's going outside in. And then once these formed elements are produced, it reverses the process back out of the bone to give the formed elements to uh, to the bone and the rest of the body there. So uh, you can think of the Volkman perforating canal as kind of like you think of all of the all the connecting drains of one sewer. So it's there's obviously the bone, the bone, and these little connectors between the blood vessels of the periosteum to the central canal to the blood vessels of the central canal to another central canal and then the blood vessels of the central canal to the blood vessels of the spongy bone it's like the the drains connecting in one sewer system there so that's the parts of a compact bone is the osteum structural unit haversian canal that central canal embedded with uh, osteoblast concentric lamella circular layers of bone matrix uh, matrix, excuse me, embedded with osteocytes. Then we got the interstitial lamella, the bone matrix between osteons, and then the Volkman perforating canal, which is the uh, connects the blood vessels, the periosteum to the central canal, central canal blood vessels to the other uh, central canal blood vessels, central canal blood vessels to the blood vessels of the spongy bone, and then reverses the process outside of the bone whenever the formed elements are made. So easy as one, two, three. If you have any questions, type them below, and we'll get an answer to you and get it all sorted out. But uh, yeah, hey, look up some pictures. Pictures always help, and uh, draw it out. Keep working with it. Repetition is key. Let's get it, gang.